It is always a pleasure to join in the recognition of Grown in Britain Week, which this year is taking place in the International Year of Plant Health. We have exceptional woodlands and forests in this country. They produce an invaluable range of materials which enhance our lives, from furniture to timber in construction. I encourage, of course, the sourcing of as much Grown in Britain certified material as possible in any construction projects however big or small. It all makes a difference. Otherwise, we will import more wood products from around the world, which can increase chances of pests and diseases entering the country and threatening our biosecurity. This mark will let you know that material is Grown in Britain certified. I applaud the work of the Grown in Britain team in bringing many of our neglected woodlands back into management. I know that when woodlands are opened up by thinning and good management, the sunlight can penetrate the canopy and the flora and fauna comes alive, creating inspiring places for both wildlife and people to enjoy. Here in DEFRA, we acknowledge the Grown in Britain team for the tremendous work in helping to develop the Plant Healthy Certification Scheme for businesses and organisations in the plant supply chain. I urge all nurseries and traders of plants to engage and use this vital scheme, which will help to make our country more biosecure. In government, we are doing our bit by exploring how we can procure plant healthy stock for our own projects and through our public funded grant schemes. The need for biosecure plants is increasingly vital as we set the framework in place for a step change in the creation of new woodlands in this country. The government has set out ambitious plans for tree planting to help us adapt to climate change and reduce carbon. Initiatives like the Woodland Creation Certification Scheme, which Grown in Britain is developing with partners, will help ensure new woodlands deliver their multiple benefits for generations to come. We live clearly in unprecedented times, and I recognise how important access to our green spaces, parks, woodlands and forests have been for society during this very difficult year. They are uplifting places to visit and explore, whether for active recreation, wildlife watching, or indeed calm reflection. If you add this value of health and well-being, to all the other benefits in terms of carbon, timber, wildlife, flood protection and clean air, we really do see how vital thriving trees and woodlands are to us all. I remain very grateful to Grain in Britain and their superb work, and I know that DEFRA and the UK Government appreciate their work to help make our country more sustainable. May I commend Grown in Britain Week and let us reflect on the wonderful trees, woodlands and forests in the country and what we can all do to ensure that they flourish.